what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The coronavirus epidemic is spreading all across the globe, and scientists are in need of a vaccine fast, or else millions of people are going to die. Well, the United States and China has a plan. They plan to test potential vaccines on human guinea pigs. I wonder where they're gonna find some human guinea pigs. What country? You guessed it, family. They're going into Africa. They have made a deal with the Democratic Republic of the Congo to test their people, to use their people to save the world, to risk their people's lives so that others, many who hate their guts, can live. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is the poorest country in the world. On average, their people survive on $1 a day. I want you to check out the official explanation of this nonsense. DR Congo will be one of the countries where COVID-19 vaccines from the US, China, and Canada will be tested beginning in July, says John Jock Mwembe, head of DRC's agency leading the pandemic response. Testing controversial and possibly deadly drugs on black people is nothing new. In the 1940s, the U.S. purposely injected syphilis into black people and watched them die. The so-called tests were done so that doctors could better understand how to treat the disease. But we have to be careful with this family. We have to be careful not to blame the exploited and blame the exploiters. Africans have been exploited for hundreds of years because Africans don't display the quality to bring harm to others like some people do. The sad part is that you have some Africans who do display the qualities to bring harm to their own. This is where it gets real foggy, family. It gets real tricky because the United States could not have been successful with the slave trade if not for those dirty, low-down bastards from Africa who were African, Black Africans who assisted them. I'm so sick and tired of seeing black people in Africa allow other countries to exploit them, man. It's, it is sickening to have all of those resources, all of those people, and in most, they're in most positions of power. They allow Chinese people to come in there, and set up shop and talk to their people bad, treat their people like dirt, like garbage. They allow Chinese and Russian businesses to run African businesses out of business. They allow Arabs to sex traffic their women and children rape, murder, exploit. They got child slavery going on over there. These are the leaders of Africa who will sell out their own people to pad their stanky, dusty ass pockets. I am looking forward to the moment when the Africans decide this African got to go. Not when the United States decide because the United States is not for Africa, ever. 
Don't ever think they're for Africa. When they start pointing out, oh, this is the boogeyman, this is the bad guy. He's the leader, he has to go. No, normally when the US say he got to go, that means that he's probably doing something for his people, right? That means that he's probably for his people if the U.S. is against him. So I don't buy that. I mean, what are the people saying? Whatever the people say, that's what goes. So that's what we have to look at. We, ha we can't be so naive as Americans and the other people out here watching, looking at what's going on in Africa and taking our cue from America. Because... America is not for Africa. It has never been for Africa. China is not for Africa. I don't give a damn how they go in and set up shop and give a billion dollars, 10 billion, 20 billion, a trillion dollars, whatever. It's always to exploit, to take away. It's always to come in and control. And when the African people see those greedy ass leaders who sell them out, they need to go in and do something about it. Get them out as soon as possible, whatever they gotta do. They need to handle business. This is sad as hell, man. It's sad and it is sickening. And before any of you get to trying to make comparisons about black people in America compared to Africans and we do the same thing, that is a lie. First of all, we are not the majority and black people in America don't have the political clout that black people in Africa has. It's just that they have leaders in Africa who just continue to sell the people out like all of these damn years and nothing has changed. It's sad, man. It is truly sad. This is why black people in, in America, well, some black people at least in America, don't want to go to Africa. They're like, damn, even in Africa where you have the majority, they still got to go through the same shit we're going through over here. I saw a video with Chinese people beating up a, a black woman in their store. That shit could be anywhere in America. There are black people in Africa and in America who say that black people need to return to Africa if they want to reach their full potential. If you want to be somewhere where you're going to be loved, appreciated, and not under daily racist attacks, come to Africa. Then you have those who are on the fence, who are watching what's going on in Africa and saying, well, damn. I want to get my ass whooped by a Chinese person in their store. I don't need to go 8,700 miles to another continent. Hell, I can have that happen right here in America. And I'm not saying that to discourage anyone because I still believe that Africa is the best choice for black people, period, bar none. We just have to deal with the sellout leaders in Africa. They must be dealt with. Africa has way too much potential, way too many resources. That's why everybody else always running their asses over there. They love to talk down about black people. They love to talk about how Africa is a shithole nation and all of this stuff. Uh, Africa is a shithole continent. But they're always running their asses over there. Why are they going over there if Africa is so bad? That's because they know what's up. The leaders in Africa who sell out their people must go. Every single one of you low-life bastards. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?